Hello, Nixu. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Nick Sue. <laughs> That's what the closed captioning gets. Oh, this thing is so creepy. But I need to do this, and then I need to do F11, right? Or F10. No, view. I do full screen. Full screen. Whoa. That changes the screen a little bit. Huh. I need to change the screen. What's it doing? Video, video game capture. Transform. Fit to screen. There we go. Oh, it's Silent Hill. This is Silent Hill 4. The Room. I have never played any of the Silent Hill games. And this is this comes for with the highest recommendation from Nixu Kitty. Alright, there we go. So this is going to be an interesting playthrough. Never played any of these games. I played like the first one briefly for all of maybe 30 minutes. Did the first section and got really scared. <laughs> and this was like back in 2021 that I was getting emulators all back up and running. Those were some fun times. During the pandemic, I actually spent time doing all emulators and even going to get hardware of Game Boys, uh, Nintendo 64s, PlayStations, controllers and stuff, and just doing um, refurbishing and modding and stuff. I can definitely learn more, but it's, it's really fun. All right, brightness, that's good. Subtitles, I kind of like having subtitles. I just hope that mine aren't going to be like over the mono stereo yeah let's keep it to stereo and option one but there's also option two let's go ahead and do you want to change the options yes but i'll just go back into it game thank you options the room is underrated Oh, here we go. Button config. Oh, um, do, 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 do. that's that's all fine. Option one, option two. Oh, it's only these two pages. Pew! What a neat sound. All right. So this game came out in two thousand and four. Bat doesn't think he's ready for this, to play a scary game that he doesn't know anything about. I don't even know if I can like fight back in these games, if it's just a chase thing, and chase things always get my heart rate up. Well, here we go. I don't want to pussy out on this, we'll do it on normal. We'll, we'll do a legit run. It was two years ago that Henry Townshend moved into room 302 of South Ashfield Heights, an apartment building in the medium-sized city of Ashfield. Henry was happy and enjoying his new life. But five days ago, something strange happened. He began to have a recurring dream each night. One other thing. He couldn't leave room 302. I should probably move the mouse away. There we go. <laughs> oh, did it give me control? Oh, it did. Interesting. Oh, this is a glow. Oh, what's this? 
What's with this room? It's covered in blood and rust. This is my room, but what the hell has happened to it? This room, is it really my room? It's in terrible shape. The air is so heavy, my head hurts. My head so heavy, this photo, it's filthy. Was it here before? This scenery, I know I've seen it before. My head so heavy, this photo, it's filthy. Was it here before? I know I've seen it before. This is my bed. This is my bed. <laughs> Whoa. Wait. This is movement and that. Huh? Wait. Movement. Oh, God. <laughs> See, I want to be able to, like, control myself reasonably. This feels really weird for controls. <laughs> That's weird. My red typewriter is gone. But now, see, it's I'm going to be tempted to, like, check everything. Oh, the window. I can't get it open. Like, ever since the first one looking at the painting, like, clicking it multiple times means that you would uh, have multiple dialogue options if you were persistent enough. God, the control. Oh my god. Why? Can I change this? Oh, the control scheme. Oh god. Default control walk. Let's see. Yeah. What, um, move, evade. First person? Sideways movement. Yeah, I think that's what I wanted. Okay. Yes, change them. Pause. Yes. Yes, yes, there we go, there we go. See, this, going forward and backward, we're, we're fine on the left control stick, but for some reason, left and right was look left and right, and I'm like, no, no, I am not having that control scheme. I'm going to use the same control scheme that I've used ever since I played Halo that had the dual analog. No other game that I played before actually had a dual analog. So it was like Metroid Prime that was on the GameCube and then GoldenEye on the N64. God, those are such good, such good games. All right, now, now I need to like activate stuff in order to get out, maybe? This is my bed. Y'all are in my room. Welcome to my room. There are all sorts of dusty items here. What the hell? None of it's mine. None of it's mine. Then what's going on? This photo, was it here before? My head. This photo, was it here before? I've seen this lighthouse before. Boy, there's a lot of things to look at in this room. Okay, he still doesn't know where this is. This is my bed. Hello, 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 Doc. I may be in and out. Oh my. Haha, <laughs> while well, still at work. No worries, Doc, no worries. It is a horror game that I was recommended by a certain magical kitty cat that has a lot of love for horror. And apparently also seeing me be scared <laughs> the two may be related in some way and okay i just figured out that i need to actually press a button to leave there's not going to be a prompt or anything but goodness that's loud hang on oh goodness Ooh, new room or is it old room no this is this is my room. I just went out the... Whoops. 
I, I'm, I, uh, this door is shut tight. It won't open at all. See, I thought it put me outside facing my door rather than outside facing away. But this is a really cramped hallway. Oh, my gosh. All right, what's with this buzzing noise? Off. Off. Where did this big TV come from? I thought I had a record player here. Off. Off. Turn the sound off. It's loud. I don't really hear any game audio. Oh, let's see. It just might need to be, like, bumped up. Okay, that this is it quiet. Um, oh, that's from the game. The static. Never mind. Oh, yeah. So if I'll, I'll keep it. I think I have it where I was before, but if it's a little loud, just let me know. Yeah, it's the static stuff. Oh, my goodness. So loud. The window. I can't get it open. Oh, my God. Is there a letter? Is there a book? Are there paintings I can look at? Yes. Is that me? Who is this guy? Who's that guy? Who are all these people? 21 people. It can't be. Why are they here? 21 people. Whoa. Creepy. It looks like a face. Yeah, dude. I think that is a face. It just drew my attention to it. What is this photo? It's all faded and I can't see it well. Look at all this food. I'm not interested in food at all. My head, it hurts. Dude, if your head hurts, we need to get you something. We need to get you some meds. Very dirty. I don't feel like washing my hands right now. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Jesus, look at your apartment, man. Jesus. Terrible. It smells horrible. I'm afraid to open it up. Well, you need to take better care of yourself. Look at all this. What is all this? It's part of an old picture book. There once was a baby and a mother who were connected by a magical cord. But one day the cord was cut and the mother went to sleep. The baby was left all alone. But the baby made lots of friends at Wish House and everyone was very nice to him. The baby was happy. It's ripped here and I can't read anymore. Okay, so that has to have some significance. What's this? Uh, yeah, what is it? <laughs> you can't just... Oh. Oh. Whoa. Ah, uh, that does not look good. Oh. Yeah, to, to say you might need some redecorating might be a bit of a stretch now. Hell of an intro. <laughs> Big undead zombie guy coming through my walls. That's my neighbor, Greg. That's just, uh, he's okay. He's a chill guy. I would not be able to pronounce these names. Does need tuned, turned up. Okay. I crank it up all the way. All right, it's pretty high now. No, not yet. What year did this come out? And also keep keep me posted on the audio levels. It is maxed for game audio. So I might need to turn it down. I love that song. 
Which song, Kunix? Oh, man. What a dream. Oh, he sounds kind of loud. How is the sound? 2003 or 4, I think. I see. Oh, bars. What do the bars do? There's a phone. Oh. Imagine buying a PlayStation 2 game and getting like a movie experience out of it like this. It's still not working. God, this would be like the equivalent of buying... Gosh, Silent Hill, yes! Hey, Sterling! How's it going, man? Oh, spooky. The telephone just suddenly rings. Hello? Help. What? The cord's cut. Hello. Wait, the cord's cut? How is he getting a call then? That makes no sense. Is he going to say this is my bed? Yes, it is his bed. What about the painting? It's that lake in Silent Hill. I was, I went sightseeing there a few years ago. I like this photo because it really captures the beauty and tranquility of the trees and the lake there. I put this up on the wall right after I moved here. Wasn't well, that nice? A little painting that reminds you of home. How pleasant. I can't open the window. Up until a few days ago, it was no problem. But ever since, I started having those nightmares. Those nightmares. Those nightmares are a problem. It's just a quick shot I took in downtown Silent Hill. It's a nice tourist town about a half day's drive from here. It's a photo of the lighthouse near the lake at Silent Hill. It feels a little bit lonely for a tourist town, but it's a nice place to relax and heal your soul. Oh, wow, Silent Hill's healing souls now. Metal Gear launches nukes? It's a brand new scrapbook. You can view the contents of the scrapbook by pressing the triangle button. You still haven't got anything. Well, that doesn't feel like a targeted statement at anyone. <laughs> it's like, wow, this game is a little too serious for me right now. Whoa. The game just pulls your gaze in certain directions. Hey, there's an outside. There's a lady just standing there. She looks like she's waiting for something or someone. She seems frustrated. Do I have control over this? No, no, it's just, okay, now she's going down the subway. Boy, I'm really intent on watching this. Is, is something supposed to happen? I'm pressing buttons, oh, okay. I pressed B. Oh, wow. Oh, this is outside of the window. Hey, this is kind of cool. How nice. You can, like, take a look at the other side. Somebody down there. Oh, I, I'm banging on the window? Wow. See, a game recreating a scene like this. It's quite pleasant. Something... Fuse... Fusion? Fusion Launch? Hotel South Ashfield. Interesting. Alright, I wonder if we're going to be able to get out this time. This is a very cozy place. Like, this is smaller than some hotels that I've been in. It's just like, dang. Because that's not even a bath right there. All right, let's, let's get a move on here. Those hills won't silent themselves. We must help them. 
even if we're not, oh, this chest could hold a lot of stuff. Yeah, I bet it could. Oh, weapons. Wow, what a sound effect. Listen to that. Dang. <laughs> Toggle. Oh, ooh. Ooh, I've heard that sound before. <laughs> okay, decide, return. Yeah, I don't think I have anything right now. But something is glowing right there. What is that? It looks like a scrap from some book. Man, this thing looks like it was written ages ago. Through the ritual of the Holy Assumption, he built a world. It exists in a space separate from the world of our Lord. More accurately, it is within, yet without, the Lord's world. Unlike the world of our Lord, it is a world in extreme flux. Unexpected doors or walls, moving floors, odd creatures, a world only he can control. Anyone swallowed up by that world would live there for eternity, undying. They will haunt that realm as a spirit. How can our Lord forgive such an abomination? This part of the book is too damaged to read. It is important to travel lightly in that world. He who carries too heavy a burden will regret it. The book is too damaged to read anymore. Well, that's interesting. You put the book scrap in your scrapbook. Book scrap in my scrapbook. Mm, I bought these I brought these books with me when I moved in two years ago, but I haven't touched them since then. You need to read some books. Reading books is oh reading books is good. Except for no, this is good. Save possible. It's possible. Could it happen? <laughs> Boy, this, this th feels funny doing an emulator like this. This is so cool. All right, number of saves, one. 10 minutes in, pew. What fun sound effects. I got this photo from Frank Sunderland, the super here at South Africa, Ash, South Ashfield Heights. Oh. The room has changed, like, there's new stuff. So was he, like, dreaming before? The main power is off, so even if I press on it, nothing happens. I was wanting to read the book, but that works too. Yeah, he doesn't have a record player. It's weird, a few days ago, the power to my TV and VCR just stopped coming on, ever since I started having those nightmares. Uh... Chains? You think that's a bit excessive? Is he just going to act all nonchalant and just say, yes, this is uh, my, my living room space, here's my kitchen, here's my bedroom, here's the uh, windows looking to the outside world, and here's my chain door, and then here's a... <laughs> How do you, like, not have that be a conversation piece? Like, wow, so many chains. It's a photo of me as a kid, and then when I graduated from high school. I don't really have pictures of myself in my own place. I don't really feel like cooking now. Well, you're going to change that, because you need to take care of yourself. I don't feel like washing my hands right now. Well, at least your living space looks a lot better than it did last night. I don't know what you were doing last night. But you fixed it. Oh, that was a cutscene to open up the door of a refrigerator. <laughs> Let's take a look at these two items. There's chocolate milk in here. Can we make pilk? Do we also have Pepsi somewhere? <laughs> take the chocolate milk. Yes. You got the chocolate milk. You got the chalky milk. Chalky milk. Chocolate flavored milk. Very sweet. It was in the refrigerator at home. Oh. So this is already implying that I leave. It's already like... 
spoiling me on things that are gonna happen. Why? Oh, I need to do that. There we go. I got the thing. Can I take any more? White wine. Take the bottle of white wine. Oh, uh, heck yeah. Wine bottle. Weapon? The bottle of wine. <laughs> the bottle of white wine from the refrigerator. It'll break eventually, but if I keep... But if I keep using it as a weapon. Happy? Why, thank you. Happy just subscribed for two months. Currently on a two-month streak. Thank you so much. I, I hope I'm entertaining, because, I mean, scary games, I'm not as proficient in scary games that I am like action games and first person shooters and that kind of thing. So horror games, I really have n little to no experience in. And then Kitty Cat, Magic Kitty Cat is recommending this one. So I gotta play it. I just like seeing people get scared. Oh, well, good. You've came to the right place. <laughs> Look no further. Oh. Yeah, it was a cutscene for the refrigerator door. I'm just really amazed by this right now. <laughs> okay, well, at least we got a letter here. What's this? Oh. Five days ago. That's when I first had the nightmare. Did you still have chains on your door then? I haven't been able to get out of my room since then. The phone doesn't work, the TV doesn't work, I can't even get anybody to open. My whole world has suddenly turned insane. My door's chained up, the windows are sealed shut. And on top of that, someone chained the door from the inside. How am I going to get out of here? Don't go out, Walter. It's Eileen Galvin from next door. Can I knock or something like? Why? Why are the pants? My luck changes before the party. Party. Why? Are you wanting to invite the chain door guy? But there's a letter down there. Oh, I still can't control my. Oh. What was that? Dot, 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 question mark. Well, I want to get the letter. There's something down there. What's this? Yeah, I wanted, that's what I wanted to get the first time. Mom, why doesn't you wake up? You put the first letter in your scrapbook. I like putting the book of scrap in my scrapbook. I made spaghetti again. See, I'm tempted to do those cheesy shells still. I might try those later tonight. All right, now we gotta go and see what the spooky sound was. See, this is a door in my apartment, but I couldn't use it. Oh, nope, I can use it now. What is in here? A cutscene. A stick of bamboo and a cave opening? What the hell? No, that's a, that's a pipe. It's not a stick of bamboo. Just put a poster over it, dude. I wonder if I can do it this way. Cheesy shells are good. Yeah, I need to ask uh, No Langlo about it, because he's the one that told me about it. Oh, I hear voices. The sewage pipes broken too pull on the part hanging down. I got the steel pipe. Three foot long sewer pipe. Not very powerful, but fairly easy to use. Oh, right on. It isn't the time for that kind of thing. <laughs> Have I seen that picture before? Because I, I swear I've heard that. Of course there's no one in the bathtub. Yeah, well, it's my tub, right? All right, this guy... Can, can I see myself? No, I can't. 
I can't move as far in order to walk in front of the mirror to see my reflection. They're keeping me from doing it. No. All right, looks like it's time to go. Yeah. Enter the hole. And y'all can sound bite that anytime. <laughs> oh, he is entering that hole. He did exactly what we're telling him to do. This dude's gay. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I'm the one moving. Oh, oh goodness. Hello, Carolink. Welcome. Enter the hole. I'm. This is like VHS quality. Do you remember that pipe that the android in Aliens had to walk through? Like he had a flashlight in his mouth, but he had to put the gun away. And then, or no, he was like crawling with the gun up front. And then they had to seal that small pipe behind him. Are you spooked yet? I'm getting there. Hello, always loved your bet. Didn't know you stream. I do a little bit. I've been picking it up. It's only a recent development, but I've tried in the past for the, gosh, couple of years or so. But I kept doing other things. I didn't really have an aim goal in mind, but now I do. And I'm having lots of fun with it. So welcome. Come join us for a spooky game that I have not yet played. Oh, is that a escalator? One singular light. What a depressing scene. I think Sean has a lot of potential as a virtual streamer. Well, thank you, Happy. I'd love to explore this so much. And I'm doing like all these little things behind the scene. I did the little PNG, I did the little heart rate and the closed captioning. I might have to move mine if I want you guys to be able to see the game though. Unless it's like easily to be heard. I will look, it's 1 a.m. here. Oh, is it Europe? Oh, it is an escalator. How did you end up here? You were in a hole. Yes, I was in a hole. This hole was made for me. It is friend shaped. Boy, the the movement. Okay, I can't go that way, can't go that way. Button, button, button. Uh, oh. And woke on an escalator. Yes, I'm from the south of Spain. Whoa. I love Spain. I'd actually love to visit there. One of my favorite shows to watch is on American Public Broadcasting, so that's PBS. And it's called Rick Steves Travels. Wonderful videos in order to fall asleep to. Extremely soothing. And welcome. I'm a bat, and I am located in the United States. Specifically in Tennessee. You might want to equip your pipe. Oh. Oh. We have a steel pipe. Can I save? Is, is this a save anytime kind of thing? It doesn't look like it. Pew! Um, <laughs> anytime that I do those sound effects, it's gonna be funny. I love those. Okay, it looks like we you can only save in the room. Oh, okay. All right, let's see. Can I sneak? Um, the camera just changed. Isn't it that girl? Hang on. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to see what's down here. Because whenever a game is like directing me to go to a certain place, I'm like, but, but what's over here? The door is shut tight. It won't open at all. This door is locked from the other side. Well, if a game doesn't let me like that, then I suppose I can't. 
Oh, I guess that's a camera reset. Yeah, that's what it is. There we go. Oh. Okay. Okay, how do I... Ah. Okay. I gotta be ready. It's a homeless... <laughs> oh. Who are you? I was just straight up about to whack this bitch. <laughs> Just like, all right, get ready. <laughs> Just wham. <laughs> Whoa, Did this you? music. <laughs> this is my dream, and you don't even know my name. It's Cynthia. Cynthia. Your dream. That's right. <laughs> this is just a dream. And a really terrible one, too. I hope I wake up soon. So you think this is a dream, huh? Well, if it's not a dream, what is it? Anyway. And still, like, if you were to see this on the PlayStation 2, this would blow your mind. You'd think that you were watching an actual movie. Will you help me find so this game had a budget behind it. I'm kinda scared. Also, sexy. Sexy lace. Oof. Very, very nice. I was just straight up about to smack her with this metal pipe just because Nixie was like, hey, you might want to like equip something. I'm like, is it because of them right there? But now if you go back and play this on a CRTV, it's so hard to see. Oh, but happy. I've got I've got CRT TVs because I actually really love playing the games on original hardware and that includes the TV. So I have a Wii and a GameCube, and I want to get a PS2 and stuff so that I can actually do that. Because there's something about playing on the original hardware that just feels right. It adds to the experience, to the nostalgia of it all. That is just a big pipe right there. Can we go in there? Can I reset my camera? Yeah. That's an evil pipe, because we came in through one. Here's another evil pipe. Yeah, it's just nothing's in there. This is going to be weird to use with the camera. Hell yeah, if you're ever in India, Wait Indiana again and still need one, let me know. I'll hook you up. Oh. Hell yeah. I think I'm going to puke. I love all those game consoles. I mean, they're considered retro now. What is wrong with this lady? Oh, was it, was it? Oh, well, how convenient that the bathroom is just right there, right when she needed it. Wow. <laughs> Plot armor, am I right? <laughs> I got like three. Whoa. What kind are they? Are they the fat or are they the slim? And what colors are they? And do they have a little PS2 stand? Okay. Door. One fat and two. <laughs> Holy shit. What the fuck? Black and no. That looks weird. Oh. Oh. That's gross. Are they just gonna start eating that guy? This guy's like really right in front of my salad. Uh. Uh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm just gonna. Oh. Oh no. Are they coming after me? Can I run? Or am I just gonna walk this entire time? Okay, here's a run. Okay. Are they coming after me? Uh. Kinda. Kinda no. You know what, I think I have a feeling that I actually need to fight him, so let me go and do that. Alright, alright, pieces of shit. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, it's like a turn-based thing almost. Ah. Oh, dodge that one. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. All right, that's one. I think. <gasps> no, it's still alive. Back. You're just gonna leave her there with them? Leave who? She went somewhere. She'll either be back or not. I'm, I'm kind of busy. <laughs> she could come out at any time. What's she doing? Buying the place in there? Oh, did I just get a double kill? Oh, oh, come on. Break, get, get the, yeah. Gotta stomp on them while they're down. There we go. Boy, that took out five little rectangles of health. What is this circle thing that's up there, though? Yo, lady. I saved ya. Can... Well, I mean, those came out of the men's room. She was in the ladies' room. What the hell is going on in the men's room? Boy, what was that sound? I like the Jaeger sounds. Why? Why did I hear, like, a baton drop? It looks like there's no one in there. Kinda. Looks like there's no one in there. Okay. Why did I hear a sound effect in here? Interesting. They just added it in order to give the immersion. But why? Why not just do the ladies room only? Uh, hey lady. Don't think anyone's in there. Uh, we, where could this crazy hole lead to? Really? Crazy hole. Enter the hole. What, what, what should we do, chat? <laughs> and we got a choice to just go into the hole. Yes, no, yes, no. I know which one I'm doing. She's dropping bombs. We're gonna enter the hole. We are gonna enter the hole. But before we enter the hole, I do need to use the restroom really quick. It must, it's where she must have gone. Yeah, just like every other time that somebody needs to go and use the restroom, right? And then you lose them for like 45 minutes. Does that sound like anyone we know? <laughs> Meaning me. <laughs> All right, well, hang on y'all. Yeah, that's actually true. So let me go and get something to drink because that's actually something that I forgot to grab and also use the restroom. So be right back. Give me just a few minutes.
Are we ready to enter that hole yet? Are we all prepped and lubed up? <laughs> Man, this is the prompt that comes up in furry conventions a lot, right? <laughs> Are you, are you sure? Enter that hole. Yes? No. Yes. We're going in. And also, I need to hydrate. Ooh, perfect time. Whoa. What is that? There was a person there. How's been the sound, y'all, by the way? Is the sound good? Y'all get to hear everything. I'm in a dream. But it seems so real. Or could it be? Is that really inside that woman's dream? No. Oh. Oh, that's just stupid. What am I thinking? I like how calmly Resident Evil game characters talk. Like, I remember the first one just for those 30 minutes, and I'm like, wow, they're really kind of calm about the whole uh, things really going to shit <laughs> going around. You keep waking up in weird spots after going in holes. See, I know about some spots that I love looking at that also involve holes, and I know where to find those spots. It's a brand new scrapbook. You can view the contents of the scrapbook by pressing the uh button. The uh button, the first letter. Pew, <laughs> that sound. Pew, pew. Oh, how fun. There are a lot of small items here, but none of them particularly interesting. Well, I'm interested in them. Let's talk about them. Oh, it's this stuff again. I guess it might all be the same. Well, this is just one room. It's just a very, very cramped room. What's with that person? I saw that. What was that? It's a person that's like floating in the background. There's my chain door. It's my constant. Let's take a look at that. Well, I mean, it's freaking. Let's just check the door. Let's check the chain door. Or, I don't think I've been in this room yet. Some kind of storage. Oh, it's the laundry room. Surprisingly spacious. There's more room in here than I thought. There are tools and things on the ground. Yes, there are. Also looks like a... Well, no, not a car battery, but... It's just like, why would a car battery be in here? It's a clothes dryer. I don't need that right now. <laughs> it's so mean. It's a washing machine. I don't need that right now. Well, it doesn't need you either. There's nothing interesting here at the moment. This guy is so, like, pessimistic. He's just like, I just don't need this stuff. Nothing, nothing in this area has really changed since I moved here. This guy is just straight up emo. It's like, nothing is, nothing matters. I just wake up, but why? Let's check the fridge situation. Let's be a fridge, oh. All right, let's activate our cutscene. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> God. Cutscene fridge door. Here we go. All right, chains. See if we get anything. Don't go out, Walter. But I actually want to, like, see outside. Let's try the door. I can't open the door. Well, I wonder when we will. Oh, hey, he's got his uh, blue bars back. All right, let's... Uh, Let's go into this totally normal looking situation right here. Of course there's no one in the bathtub. We'll get in it and then there will be someone in the bathtub. You can't just keep t saying this. Enter the hole. God, this decision is just always, you know, yes, no, yes, no. I think this is the right thing. So yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Then, then people like it a little faster like this, right? Yeah. 
just like that. Maybe a little faster. Not a lot of people have stamina in order to do it this fast. And then, yeah. <laughs> Let's enter that hole, right? Don't mind me, I'm just doing bat silly things over here. Y'all are enabling this, by the way. Enablers, the lot of you. Oh, wow, okay. So back again in the restroom where the lady was, where the hole is. Oh, the hole is still here. So I guess that's just a way that we can travel back and forth. So we went back to the room. I'm guessing that it also saved when doing that, even though it didn't really say. We came from that way and then she went into the restroom. So we haven't been... There sounds like there's something really big in here. Like a dragon, even. Oh, let's, let's see if we can find a dragon. What is that sound? That is an unsettling sound. Oh, something's coming. What is it? It's one of those dog things again, isn't it? What is it? Yeah, it's just sitting there. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. I need to get it stuck up on a wall or something. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, wow. It actually, like, roars and stuff. But you can still, like, push it around. Yeah, it was still alive. There we go. Damn, so you have to hit it a couple of times. <laughs> It'll still, like, keep coming up. It's a payphone, but it's broken. Rawr. It's a payphone, but it's broken. It's a payphone, but it's broken. But it's a payphone. But it's working. What if things worked in society? What does it say? It's a coin dispenser for the King Street line, but it's broken and I can't use it. Is that all of them, though? Ah, uh -huh. all of them. Not sure what that is. Not sure what that is. There's more stuff this way. Uh oh. Yeah, there's stuff that. Well, I mean, that's where we came from, though. Right? Because we came over there and went over here. Yeah. Some kind of station guy, but the text is all blurry. It's totally useless. I'd still take it. You might be able to get something salvaged from it. Alright, fine. Be that way, then. I need a coin to get through the turnstile. I need a coin to get into the coin slot. There's a face on the wall. What? What's the matter, my dude? We haven't even, like, gone downstairs, and that's where the game seems like it's directing us. But we don't have a coin. Yeah. Okay, so we can't... So we need to find a coin. Can't go in there. But the way that I came from... I'm getting confused. Let's run a little bit. Go check the restrooms. Oh. Oh. Two of them. This might hurt a little. Oh wow, what is that? That's a big thing right there. Oh. Why? He's just so perfectly out of range. Aw, oh, damn. Nice. 
this. No. I think I need to get better at running and like closing the distance. Oh, that's that's like a leap or something. Let's see if that works. Come on, leap at me, bruh. Bruh. There you go. Eat it. Ah. Run. Oh no. All right, now I need to walk up to him and then, yeah, and then I might have to do it a couple of times. All right, if I can walk through them, it means that they're dead. But look at this fucking thing right here. Jesus. Reminded me of, like, Doom 3 a little bit. Not even a little bit, that's a lot. So I need to go check the restrooms. And the restrooms were back this way. So I went the wrong way to fight these guys, but at least I cleared these guys. So that I don't have to worry about them anymore. Alright, back in this room. Cleared out this stuff. Back in the restrooms. Yep, it's still dead. I wonder if the bodies persist. Oh, the camera. Yep, the bodies do persist. Well, let's go back to the men's to see what's going on in here. Haven't checked that one back. What did I, why do I keep doing that? No one in there. No one in there. Wonder why. I don't think anyone is in there. So wait, what's in the restrooms? Do I just need to go back through the portal again and save? I mean, I guess I could do that. Wonder if the saving and if it helps me like heal and stuff, because I probably would have only lasted a minute or so in, in battle. Oh, huh. No, I must be misremembering. Oh, we're getting a cutscene. Oh. Oh, his health. Oh, yeah, his health is coming back. Slowly. Oh, it regenerates. I thought there was a mannequin in there with the coin. All good. Hey, it's a good thing that we went back anyway. Because this place heals you. I want to know what that other icon is, though. The circle one. Y'all don't have to tell me, but I'm sure it'll, like, tell me in time. As soon as it gets to, like, max. I wonder if we could just, like, sleep, and then it'll be max. This is my bed. Oh, well, no, never mind. So I appear in bed. So I come back through the hole and then I immediately am in bed. Almost there. I guess that's like a sanity gauge. All right, we good. No wonder they put the door directly in front of you because you're just going straight back in there. Enter the hole. The hole. It's like the claw from Toy Story. Oh wait, my mouse is still on the screen again. Alright. So we're, we're healed up, so that was good to go and do that. But now we're back here in the restroom. We were fighting these enemies and we were doing pretty good. So let's go back and keep trying to do that. Whatever that uh, sound effect is coming from. You know, it's big. Don't, don't know where it is, though. Hmm. What to do? That thing. That thing is mean. Oh, it's a... 
distort chateau of course nothing ever is open in the world of silent hill i don't think i'm going to be able to kill that we'll see where this goes uh not as far as i was hoping I should be able to get to the street this way, but it's a dead end, of course. So then, what do I do? Oh, you gotta try to sneak past some. There you go. Oh, what's that? The pistol bullets? Not very powerful. But it's another dead end. Are you kidding me? I walked all over up here this way. All right, well, this thing that could hurt me, which isn't hurt, hurting me. No, that, that goes into like something. Okay. Well, this... I won't open it all. Do I need to do stuff with inventory items? Nope. Okay. So maybe not now. Guess let's just keep looking around some. I think we still need a coin. Just don't know where to get said coin. Aren't any subway... Really, there aren't any subway employees around. Imagine like going into this little nook where you have to stay and work like that. I mean, I guess technically I already do that. But it's just like enclosed and you've got all these other people running around. Nope. You do YouTube too. I've been uploading at least the playthroughs that I've done so far and it's got a couple of games on there. I did finish Dead Space the other day, which I'm very happy about. Now we're doing a couple of other games and like Metro Silent Hill, as we're currently doing. I was also wanting to play more of Valheim, but I've been adding more to the stream each and every time, just like these closed captions and the heart rate stuff. Love seeing the progression. So that stuff didn't have anything over here. Let's just run back this way to see if there's anything else. It's a mystery. Sick new fits to add to my sleepy time playlist. Hell yeah. Honestly, I should do like cozy games like Skyrim, Minecraft, that type of thing, and just talk about things. I'm a chatterbox, you guys know this. That's it looks like the South Ashfield subway station, but I don't think this should be here. Okay, we got a light over here. Let's see if this is promising. Nope. Nope. Those are still locked. Well, it's just at the very bottom of this thing, but I don't think this is the direction that it wants us to go. Hmm. Maybe we are supposed to bike that metal flesh thing to see what happens? I'm all healed up, so... And save, so trying shouldn't hurt. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and head back. In each and every stream, I get a little bit better. Especially with the sound and visuals. I was just getting my uh, consoles testing earlier today, and I believe I have figured out that issue, all except for one thing, and that's the Xbox works perfectly, the Switch works perfectly, minus like a few issues with like making things full screen for some reason on my PC. Um, I can still take a look into that, but with the PlayStation 4, 
it doesn't want to like capture anything except for like the PlayStation logo that pops up on the screen whenever you first turn on the PlayStation. I did a restart and it didn't work, but I might try again at some point just to see what's up because I have PT on there and that would be a fun one to play. All right, I'm going to try to whack this thing to see if this is what we need to do. I mean, is this hurting it? Oh. Oh, this is like a wind-up thing. <laughs> the wind-up. The guy's like, all right, you ready to go? Oh, you can hold it down, too. And you can get up close. Okay, that's useful. Okay, this, I don't think this is what we are supposed to be doing. So, that leads me to believe I might be a little bit... Well, no, the only place that I saw that we could actually, like, make any kind of progress was the subway area right over here. Let's give this another look over over here and see if there's anything we can find. I kind of like the bedroom section a lot just because whenever you see something that I assume is new or updated information it makes your eyes look at it and your head just tilt towards it I'm wanting this guy to do that at some point because it was even in, in, in eternal darkness do I have an inventory by the way I'm pretty sure I do Oh, here we go. Office. The red. The red. Okay. Turnstile. Office. Maybe I should try the offices. I don't think I've tried that. Are there doors to get into the offices? I didn't see any. No, nothing there. Yeah, they just seem like perpetually closed. Yeah, I don't even know how to get in there. At least not that one. All right, let's check this one. Oh, those are, oh wait, it's a payphone, but it's broken. It's a payphone, but it's broken. If I hit these payphones, would I get money? <laughs> just this, this people coming down and seeing this guy just whacking and wailing. Okay, so that didn't work. But wait. Coin dispenser. Alright, let's try it on this. Really? It doesn't want to give it to me at all. I thought I was being ingenious at that point. It's like, oh yeah, just smack the thing. Anarchy, right? See, this one isn't being used, but it's broken and it's broken and it's broken. Yeah, none of these you can use. No coins. Well, there's these machines over here that we can probably use. Tickets? Coin dispenser. But it's broken and I can't use it. Are all of them going to be broken? I think we can find one machine that is able to be used. Let's keep looking. I feel like we might be getting somewhere. But it's broken and I can't use it. Goodness gracious. Totally useless. Alright, there's more over here. I think I only did like one, one or two. No, I did all of those over there. How about the ones over here? Can't use it. Can't use it. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm not making much as much progress in this room as I thought I would.
maybe it's the wrong area. Okay, I've got the bathrooms again. Well, let's go back into men's. See, that happens every time. What What is that sound effect? That one thing. Hmm. Well, wherever she went, I don't know where. When you were back in the room, did you get a phone call? No, I have not gotten a phone call. We can go try. I remember the phone ringing and that triggered the next event. Okay. Yeah, we can go try the phone. Possibly. Oh, look, there's that person again. Okay, there's that thing that's faded. All right, let's call the phone. Oh. Uh, I don't remember getting any code. Do anything? No. Don't I have like a better inventory spot? Okay, book letter, book scrap. Pew. First letter. Oh, well, I guess that is the only thing. This is a mystery. Maybe you missed something in there. Nothing particularly interesting. Well, I guess let's keep roaming around my apartment. Because I know I didn't really look around in here earlier. Oh, this is new. Maybe? No, it's not new. Weapons. Others. Weapons. I wonder how much stuff I can actually hold on me. Weird. Same about the nightmares. Nothing new there. Do I look outside for anything? No nope, people just standing there doing their thing. I wonder what's going on there. Weird. Don't know what's going on down there either. Bar Southfield. I want some drinks. 555-3750. Five, 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 so weird that you can see the outside of your apartment, but you can't leave anywhere. No, how odd. Alright, let's check this scrapbook over here, see if there's anything new. Oh yeah, I needed to actually come over here and save. Oh wow. Woo. Boy, that was a jump and save, so I actually need to physically go and save like that. Wait, what? The photo is strange, that fell down. Furniture has been here since I moved in. Huh, that's where somebody moved it. Straighten it. Oh, we, f we found something, so we had to come back here. Where did I put those wool? Who could have done it? Text. There's a message carved in here. It looks like they used an ice pick or something. Ice pick? The faint hope I had is slowly changing to despair. I've somehow managed to tunnel this far, but no matter what I do, I can't get any farther. The hallway, the windows, the walls. It feels like this room is stuck in another dimension. Eileen never noticed. 
Oh, wow, a gun. There's a pistol on the floor. Would you like to take the pistol? Yes, you got the pistol. Easy to use handgun, but not so, but not much stopping power. B. A. Oh, well, I guess I can't use any of this stuff here. Okay. Well, I got a gun now. <laughs> I mean, I've ha I have a metal stick that I hope is infinite, which would be awesome. You know, I'll just go ahead and save again because I think that's an important part. Wow. Hopefully I don't have like a limited number of staves. Number of saves, threes. No, it'll just tell me like how many saves I got in there and that's fine. I guess that's like if you get under a number of saves, something cool can happen possibly. I'm not looking to speed run this thing. I'm just in it for the experience. All right, let's see what's changed this time. There should be a crack there. Oh, never mind. Oh, well, we can go back. It's it doesn't take a lot in order to go back. I <laughs> already went back down. Yeah, it's easy to go back. You just wake up. I mean, it's probably going to be a long crawling section. I mean, what if you forget something crawling halfway down a pipe where you have to, like, turn around on the other end and not anywhere else? All right. So a crack on the wall. Let's go find out. It's got to be something we can do about cracks on the walls. Oh yeah, there is a crack on that wall, isn't there? But that doesn't look uh, healthy at all. It's even like doing a little squiggle. Mirror's image. Spoopy. Mirror. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to Spooky. Oh. now. Where did I put that damn broom? It's right here. I'm looking at it. Hello, mirror. Welcome. The broom. That's a bunny, but that's a bunny that looks weird. So I can't, I guess I can't call out to her to say like, hey, I've got something going on. I am not far. 49 minutes, 50 minutes at the most. What is that noise? What's going on? I hear something now. What the? What is that? Oh, that's just her with the quote-unquote broom. Cool, I never got to play this myself. Just going to view it through you for the first time. Well, welcome. It's my first time playing it, too. Spooky game. I've never played any of the Silent Hills. That sounds like more like a snow shovel out there. That doesn't sound like a broom. What was that? Well, we're going back in the hole. The whispering hole that just keeps going sideways and he's like got a home or an apartment that's like a couple of levels up like at least four or five enter the hole 
enter, enter the hole. Whoa. She's a mannequin now. What up? You okay? Some kind of mannequin. It's got a coin in its hand. Take it. Will you take the coin? Got a lit street line coin. And so it can be used any number of times. Awesome. All right. Thanks. Now we can go into that other spot and continue. Oh, thank you so much for following, Mirror. I hope I am entertaining with the spoopiness. And playing a PlayStation 2 game, this is a vibe. I wish I was playing this on a CRT TV to fully immerse myself. Get some really nice headphones and just relax on a beanbag and play it with y'all. Oh, that is a mood. That is a big mood. All right, so that's King Street Line, and this is the one that I need to go in through, right? Oh yeah, use it? No, use? I can't use this here. I can't use this here, but you can. I've been trying to get a decent CRT for ages, it's so hard to get a hold of. Oh, this is the exit, but this is the entrance. Why? Maybe I have to use it on the king's line. Wait. It doesn't like switch my weapon out. Right? No. Oh, hang on. How do I... How do I switch it? There we go. Okay. I can't use this here. Okay, apparently I haven't can't use it here. But mirror for CRTs, I did a lot of looking at eBay, um, let go and stuff like uh, like local listings. And there's a surprising number of CRTs that I was able to find. Most of them in kinda good. Uh, like shape and wear like they don't look terrible they're not like CRT TVs that have been left out on the sidewalk and it's rained and stuff it's not like that um, but yeah they can be a little pricey now but they know their market those CRTs are going to last for you know decades if you take care of it like easily now like flat screens TV flat screen TVs and stuff like today's age you know maybe five six seven years tops Probably not that much. All right, let's see if it uses this one. I can't use it here either. Why? King Street Line. Tickets? I can't use it. Hang on. For King Street Line. It's broken and I can't use it. That's the King Street Line. I want the other one. No, that's this is still King Street Line. Still can't use this here. Why? Lynch Street Line. Why? Why can't I use this here? Okay, so I'm gonna just hang on to this until I figure out what to do. Wait, let me. I need to use a telephone. These are all green and lit up. Maybe this means something. Can't use this here. Can't use this here. I do highly recommend getting a really nice CRT TV. At least just for like one thing, just that so you can keep it. Wait, I see a door. Hang on. Is this a door that I can get to? Mm, only if I get through the spinny dial thing. That's the exit. 
I mean, it changes the camera like it says that I'm supposed to be able to do something here. So I don't know why it wants to be weird. Okay, well let's just run along further here just to see if there's anything else that changes on this side. We can come back to this. I have retro consoles, so I always have my eye out for one. Hell yeah. Love the consoles that y'all have. Oh, that thing is still going. This. Can't use that there. Yeah, that's still going up into the ceiling. Nothing's changed there. Nothing's changed there. Boy, the camera changing like that is weird. Yep, that's still closed off too. Well, it was worth a check. Still can't hurt that thing, whatever it is. That wall is rather melty, though. Did we try looking at the other bathroom, just in case? Nobody was here in order to, like, do anything. Pretty sure you have to just go through the turnstiles. I'd have to just get the coin out to use it. See, I was trying to use it while I was here. Gosh. Well, yeah. Glad it worked that time. My goodness. Now here's a door that we haven't gone into yet. Okay, well now we... Ugh. They don't want it to be used. There. Equipped. Can y'all tell that I'm absolutely amazing at puzzle games? <laughs> oh, this... Don't tell me something came out down here. The absolute best. Oh! 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 Ah! for that crit. But I still have to like keep killing him over and over and over again. Come on. Get this guy. Yeah, there we go. Nope, he's still alive. Alright, there's that guy. No, he's still alive. Gotta step on him again. Yeah, he's still alive. Oh my god. Keep stepping him. No, he's still... Oh, god. Can you kill these? No, it doesn't feel like you can. It's just an infinite amount. Okay, I guess I just have to keep going. These guys are... Oh my god. Run. The ghosts are immortal. Yeah, they're... they're oh, stop it. Leave me alone. Just gotta run. Yeah, I thought I was gonna be able to, like, fight them. Oh. One dollar! <laughs> it says one, one thing on it. One, oh, 18, oh. Or is that 18? I don't know. Is that you? Did you run away? Okay. 
How's it new? Can you can you get on? No. Oh hey. Oh, how'd you get in there? No nothing down there. Gotta check everything. Even the trash can. Something's glowing over here. Is that just a light? It is just a light. Lock from the other side. Red light. Oh, of course we have to start all the way on the other side. Oh, this is going to be claustrophobic as fuck. Right. Wait, what? I can't go anywhere. Okay. I don't know if that sound effect was me or something like crawling around outside. Well, that isn't working down there. What is that? Something like hanging in there. Oh no. No. Why are they down here? And where do I gotta go in order to help free this person? Yeah, no, I hear ya. Yeah, I can't get anything in there. We're not through that at all. Well, this bus doesn't, or a train, doesn't want to let me inside, and now I've got to, oh god, leave me alone. No. I'll run back up and see if there's anything else I can do. Oh gosh. King Street Line. Oh, oh. Why it feels so kind of weird stuff. It's not silent. And you're not on a hill. Zero out of ten. <laughs> I've failed. Oh, I see stuff on the path is blocked by rubble. I can't get through. Everything is blocked, aren't isn't it? Oh. No. God damn it. No, stop it. Stop it. Leave me alone. Oh, these guys. Why? Where? 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 Where do I go? Stop it! Frustrating that they can come down here. I mean, I'm trying. I don't know what to, like, hit. Well, I guess I can, like, bust the door or something. Oh, for fuck's sake. Can I, like, open these doors or something? It won't open at all. I, I couldn't go through the train. It wasn't going to let me in any of the doors. I can't use this here. I mean, it let me in that one door at the very end. Ah, oh, shit. Stop it! I hate that sound. You don't lose aggro on these guys anyway. Yeah, so let's try again, because I was hitting all the buttons, but it wasn't wanting me to, like, go anywhere. So this one is closed. It doesn't want to open at all. This does not want to open. This also does not want to open. So then it just leads straight to the outside. Or there's a button here. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay. Looks like the car door's opened. Okay, now we can go through. That wasn't that obvious. Alright, so which door do we have to go through? This one? Oh no, it's this way. Right? Right? Am I going crazy? And not just playing like this, this place. So I guess we just opened up the doors from one section. Oh, oh, Jesus. Okay, so you're not like upset anymore, but we still have to go on the subway, I think. 
What is that sound? No. No. What is this? Okay, I can't. I can't get through there. What? What was... What? What is that? Jesus. This lady right here is really helpful. Can I can I leave? Oh god. Oh, I can't go this way. I can only assume that I'm still supposed to keep going this way, but I can't figure out what to do, because none of these open. And I can't kill these. Can I close the door? Did I just kill her? I thought you said these guys were supposed to be immortal. Oh, whoosh. <laughs> yeah, just smack. I thought you said these guys were supposed to be immortal. Yeah, like that. <laughs> I just hate this. Alright, I am not interested in that area anymore. Anything else open down here that's more interesting? Okay, something else is floating over here. No, please stop. Cease. Maybe I just take her and I leave, right? Or no, I gotta like probably go on here. Okay, something. Ah, oh, this stuff again. Oh, I can't go anywhere right there, can I? Oh, look at this. It's a toy box here that has 1,000 something written on it. It's locked and I can't open it. What is that noise? Why not take the box? I'm gonna die. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? My dude thinks that he's going, oh, well, there was an open door back there. I don't know if that was important or anything. I'm just trying to survive right now. I don't know if I'm doing a good job. <laughs> okay, I still have stuff that comes after me. Come on, keep going. Okay, you're, you're doing fine. Okay. Yeah, I can only probably take like one more hit. And then that would be it. Okay, I feel like I'm going in the right direction here. Both doors open. That ain't good. What's this? No, I don't want them. I want to survive and keep going in a direction that I haven't been yet. Oh, this looks new? Let's, let's go up. Let's go up and try to find a place where we can save. Are you kidding me? 
It's all blocked. Oh Jesus, that's what that is. Get out of here. We're about dead. Come on, maybe we can like run past him or something. There we go. Oh, I ran past him. Where else can we go over here? Can we even go anywhere? Yes, we can. Should be fine, right? Okay, cutscene, thank God. <laughs> One more hit would have been it. Cynthia. Um, let's... Oh yeah, Cynthia's gonna be like, oh, yeah. enter the hole. Yeah, I'm guessing this is to go back in order to save. We need it. And then this little guy, being a little loading screen, The faded wake up. Let's just sit here for a moment. Well, hello, y'all. I hope y'all are doing well this Sunday evening. And for some, early Monday morning. Doing a spooky game before, like, a work week? <laughs> y'all are brave. Kitty cat making me play this on a work night too. Wow, I can't believe they stole this from PT. Shake my head. All this stolen. I have PT. I was trying to get it to work, but for some reason my capture card is giving me problems with my PlayStation 4 and I haven't quite figured it out yet. My Xbox and my Switch work just fine though. No issues there whatsoever. Well, only a slight one. For like my Switch, for some reason, the switch is in a smaller window than it's supposed to be. And I'm like, why? It's supposed to be like 1080 pixels, you know, 16 by nine, but it's not perfect. So I'm going to have to figure out the switch next, but the Xbox is fine. All right, we're just about healed. Just about healed and we will go and we will save. I don't know why it has to be so slow. Slow and dramatic. Return from the subway world, yes. Pew. All right. Not sure what else would really be changed here, but we'll take a quick gander just to make sure. So he's always gonna stay stuck in here. But we're still like technically exploring. Anything in the fridge this time? No. Close it. All right. Hole. Anything new with the hole? No person in there. The thing is back up. But he's not going to notice that the thing is back up. Oh, whole time. And I guess we go back. I wonder if it puts us back at the same hole so that I don't have to run all the way back to where I was. Let's see. It might make us progress the game that way. Who knows? Yep, it progresses the game that way. Well, you can run back that way. But what? She, she was supposed to be out here. So what, did I do something bad? Did I leave her to the monsters? I mean, she's supposed to be out here, right? Oh no! Alien! Not alien ghost. There we go. That one's a scary one. 
Hello, little Uzi Vert the Way Life. Little Uzi Vert the Way Life. What an interesting name. No, no, aw. Uh. Aw, uh, this old lady. I don't know where Cynthia went. Well, welcome, little. Let's continue going in the same direction, not go up the ladder. Yeah, that's that's where I'm going. That's where I'm going. Should I go down? I guess I'll go with the only direction that it gave me. Oh. Oh, now what? I don't like these these ghosts that come after me like this. Can I go up? Wait, what? Should I go up the ladder? Yeah. Go up that ladder. See what happens there. Ooh. Take the pistol bullets. I wonder how big my inventory is. It's not going to be a very big inventory. Wow. Okay, I think I am able to go that way. Maybe. Let's see. It's unlocked. Oh. No. Stop doing that stuff. Is this an area that I've been at? I think so. So then what do I do here? Oh, it won't open up at all. Well, I can't open those. So I guess I have to stay out here. Oh wait, those are things that are in here. Oh, old lady, go away. Go away, go away, go away. Oh, it's this thing, but I don't have the thing anymore. I need a key. Is this open? No. Gosh, so then how do I get back to the area that I was just at? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Damn. There's a ladder in the whole room. Hang on, hang on. Let's go back in there. Let's go back down. No, get away. Get away. Stop it. Oh, juked him. Hang on. Oh, there's a big worm behind him. No. Oh, yeah. Take that. Oh. Yeah. I can dodge too, you know. And got you locked up in a corner. Got you locked up in a corner. Ha ha. There we go. Gotta keep doing it until they stop. Nope. They're still alive. Oh no, they're dead now. Be back in a bit. Okay. It, I've only ever heard that like from you, Doc, and I'm happy to have like figured that out. Because I didn't even look at it. They just want you to fill out their survey. No, I will not fill out survey. I think there was a face at the end of this thing, right? What happens if I... Oh. Oh, do I have to be closer? Yeah, I swear it looked like there was a face or something at the end of this thing. Henry. style. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. There's so many. What do I do? Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> Fucking run. Turnstiles. Go. Go up. Maybe they can't go up. Okay. Alright. Oh. 
Oh no. No, holy shit. Oh, fucking hell. Ow, damn. Oh, God. Wow, I'm not doing good on <laughs> this section. Oh, shit. Oh, hell yeah, juked him. Oh, no, he got me. Go. Go, make it up there. Oh no, he did a double, and there I go. There I go, up this long escalator. Damn. Alright, let's try that again. I think we actually got like hit by those wolves several times, so I might be able to get it further. Boy, it throws me all the way back to the menu screen for dying. Hello, Ruckroll. We playing spooky game, Silent Hill 4, The Room. Never played any of the Silent Hill games. And you can guess who recommended for me to play this. Alright, let's stick to being just down here. Let's avoid any spooky walls. Yeah, this, th I mean that noise, the low level groaning and stuff, that's straight from John Carpenter's The Thing. Brother stopped by to say hello. My mom wanted to do a birthday dinner for him. Was it your brother's birthday? Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's let's skip this. Stop it! Stop! Stop it! Get juked! I'm coming. I'm I'm oh my god! All right. Oh my god, the first one got me. Are you kidding me? Alright, can I do like a, a... How do I do like a dodge? Oh god. It's like still stuck in the animation and stuff too. Oh my god. Okay, then we got through that section. That one was a hard one. Alright, let's keep going. There's one that hops out right there. Oh, come on, that was late. Stop that. Ah, oh, that one likes a double. Alright, th that one, that one's a, yeah, that's a double one. Well, I guess they all can be double ones. God damn it. Whenever they're done attacking and they're still in the animation, it can still, like, hurt you. Holy shit. Go. Ah, oh, come on, asshole. Yeah, that's hard. Also, damn, these new castles I got are effective. Are EFFECTIVE! Capitalization. I should have been like, Lady, did you run through an area full of, you know, people coming out of the walls? She's like, what? No, I just went to the restroom. Like you. You gotta be kidding me. Hi, hi. B-Day thing going well. And happy birthday to them, too. Oh man, I'm getting a lot of pistol bullets. Look at all these pistol bullets. Should I be using this thing? My metal beam is still be metal beam. Oh no. No, leave me alone. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, I can't be given things that are immortal that could just haunt me forever. All the time. Okay, so I'm at the turnstiles, lady. Woman's makeup items are scattered on the ground. This must be Cynthia's. Okay, is she here? Okay. Alright, so y'all can see that I'm trying to get through the turnstiles here. I guess I'm not supposed to wait. Hang on. Play on the door. Remove the plate. Okay. You got the temptation placard. Door to the right. Packer from the subway world. It shows a woman and says temptation. Well, I don't know if I'm just dumb at these games. They're clearly made for a completely different generation. I'm sitting there like thinking, I'm saying a lot of words right now. Oh. 
Dream girl looks like she ain't doing so hot. Are you okay? Uh -huh. Are you okay? Have you lost gallons of blood? It's just a dream, right? I think I drank too much last one, night. Six, one, six, one, two, one. Was it though? <laughs> yes, I, I read one six one two one. I'm still reading. I'm still on the first number. <laughs> wow, this is meant to be a really emotional departure for this character, which we've seen all of, like, two minutes of. Barely. I've seen characters, like, have longer parts in full-fledged movies get less of a death time than this. Wow. It's like I, I barely, we knew her well. I tabbed to another window for a second and I earned those dying moans out of nowhere. Where is that poor noise coming from? Dying moans? From this game? <laughs> those like immortal ghosts? Those are scary. Cynthia. that noise out there? What is that noise out there? No, oh, am I in control of my character right now? No. No. I can't move. Yep, it's still stuck. No, when the girl there died in the cutscene. Oh. <laughs> Wait, she died? Will she get better? Do you think? Okay, all those noises just stopped all at once. So I guess let's try taking a look out the window. See what's going on out there. Because it seemed like, yeah, there's an ambulance and a police car near the subway entrance. Is it Cynthia? Yeah, it was that lady that we must have seen at the very beginning walking down. Not sure why she had any significance whatsoever, but supposedly Cynthia. Thoughts and prayers for her. That's the best we can do. Best I can do is $3.50. Uh, I'm gonna have to make a call. I know a guy who's an expert on subway uh, hallucination deaths, <laughs> specifically. Let's see what everybody else is doing. Pretty sure the, the directors be like, I wanted the other side of the street to be lively. So each and every day, the characters are doing something completely different. For example, there's one guy that's lounging down on the first level. And you'd think he's like laughing and eating some breakfast. But it's really a different guy from a different angle. It's the kind of realism that you expect from a game. So lively. Never looked up at the fan in this room before. Hurry up and get that ambulance! Quit yapping and move her already! Damn, she's 
got numbers carved into her chest. I want the rest. That is some of the lowest quality radio I have ever seen. Like, there's these tiny little bars that did move up and down. Yeah, you can see them just slightly in the middle of the screen. How do I get those pictures of Spider-Man? I can't use the TV or the phone. It feels like someone has intentionally cut off communication. Oh, I have a new letter. Cool. I wonder if it's because of her and this hole in the wall that's kind of glitching through a little bit. See, I feel like, um, you know, this isn't right. Having a hole in somebody else's apartment like this. Can I, like, not knock? At all. No, like, talking. It feels right. <laughs> yeah, that, that bunny rabbit right there is rather sizable. Why did she walk away from, like... There's not a lot of room in it. Well, no, I guess there is a good bit of room. Let's save. I was still thinking about it. I don't know why it has to save like that. Wow. 121. Pew. That is a fun sound effect for a game like this. All right, let's see what that letter is. There's a scrap of red paper stuck in here. Although the cult itself is gone, I'm sure the spirit of it is still alive. There are too many strange things happening in that town. I'm investigating two people, or maybe I should say just one. I've just about discovered what's going on. April 8th. The Red Diary, April 8th in your scrapbook. That's how my vision goes when I reflect. It just goes red. And you hear a werewolf sound out there. Ooh. There's a little bit of a shine on the thing. Let's go back to see if there's anything at this opening where she walked off to. No horny. No. Oh, maybe. Are you still just gonna chill there? Just not realize, I mean, you had the broom right here. What is that? Is that a glinting purse up there? See, for real though. For real though. I mean, he's got a view right there. And he's just going to be like, oh, I didn't realize what that was for. Like, really, guy? Really? I don't believe you. That, that hole has a lot of structural integrity problems. <laughs> to say nothing of this one at all. This apartment has a surplus in large holes. The hole's getting bigger. <laughs> There's a lot of hole subjects tonight. Hole some, some holes. Enter the hole. Enter the hole that's getting bigger. Boy, this is a lot heavier of a scary game than I was prepared for. I mean, I am getting spooked, but it's really like the noises and the fact that I can't fight back against some things. Where is he now? the sounds of the bugs. Our horror game giving you a sense of hopelessness and powerlessness. Say it isn't so. You're making fun of me. <laughs> I'm trying. It's too dark to see. I'm trying. This is a spooky game. A spooky game for a spooky time. What is my face looking at? This writing, what does it mean? Okay, so obviously this has some sort of significance right here. This stump. This particular stump. Where did I come from? Oh, it must be this. Just kind of like a broken branched path. 
Okay, let's follow the linear path. Let's do what it wants. Oh, let's see. Someone, I can't read this writing. Someone carved some kind of weird writing. You've handled this well. Yeah, my heart rate hasn't really gone up. The immortal ghosts are annoying, and those dogs, I wasn't about to handle five of those at once. There was just no way. Maybe using the gun, but I want to save that for, like, in case I actually need it. And I just felt like I could run past all those guys. So I did, and they didn't even get, like, angry. Just that one from the beginning that I had decided to skip fighting out on. See, as a kid, I would have been spooked by that noise, but now as a furry, I'm like, I'm going to go towards that noise. Because <laughs> I want to find the werewolf. Werewolf and their 14, or sorry, 13 friends. Also, when Cynthia died, did you not hear the lyrics of the song? I don't feel enough for you to cry, but here's a lullaby to close your eyes. That's sad. I did not hear that. But again, like, yeah, all of, like, not even, like, a minute. I mean, she followed and stuff, but she didn't really have a lot going on. So having lyrics like that, I don't feel enough for you to cry. But here's a lullaby to close your eyes. How deep. Hey, we've got, we've got a little save station. Yeah, let's go ahead and save. Let's go ahead and do that. That was a quick section, like quicker than I'm normally used to in this. Haven't played all that much. Anyway, this is my bed. He, he keeps a very tidy place for as spooky as his uh, bathroom and living room is. Not having those nightmares. Dude's just having a bunch of nightmares. Let's see if that uh, ambulance is still there. Nope, it's gone. You can see, like, a little bit of a bounce whenever I, like, try to hit the the window. Like, help! I'm being stuck here for reasons unbeknownst to me. But yeah, if y'all actually like long plays of games, my YouTube channel, I'm just sending all of those, all these long videos to. Because I also really like games that are done in long plays like that. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Help me! Help! Let me out of here! Help! Can you spy on this guy? Everything looks pretty normal to me. Of course, with the hands on the back. Like, you're going to peer through the eyepiece and actually figure it all out. Well, I'm going to go call the super. Really? Like, this is the first guy, first time that you're bringing it up. It's like, I'm going to go call the super. They mean supervisor. I've never called them just called strictly super. Ooh, ooh. Uh-oh, your name. Memory's coming back now. Spasms. Aw. Well, there's... That one, it's a good cry. It's a really good cry. There are sad movies that, I don't know, I really haven't felt like wanting to give y'all a really, like, a sad one where it's, like, a not a happy ending and stuff. I've held that stuff away. <laughs> Even though I know some really good ones. I was that age once, too. Well, yeah, that's pictures of you, my guy. See if the hole has any wisdom for us today. No, no wisdom. An open dresser. It's a fucking masterpiece. It is. It's a beautiful film. I can, if you have Spotify, I can send you music playlist that I listen to. I actually listened to that list, that music playlist when I went to MFF last year. It was filled with that as well as Tunic. And Lexi also had her mix of music thrown in between. 
So my music was Tunic, Celeste, as well as Your Name. And it was a great time. All right, did we save? Let's go ahead and save again, because we, we had that cutscene. This sounds like, you know, yeah, man, I'll share mine to you later, vice versa. Hell yeah. Pew. It's like, this was saved to your PlayStation 2. And I'm like, hee hee, hee hee. I actually wish it was saving to my PS2 and I could like show it on my CRT TV. The hole, it's getting bigger. Enter the hole. And let's see where this next section, this vegetation area. I like this vegetation area, actually. It's at night. You've got the, the bugs going. There's not spooky yet. Oh. Oh, yeah. I need to play uh, with ROMs on my Steam Deck, figure all that out. See, this is fun. I love doing like old games and games that I've never played before or I meant to and stream them for y'all so that we all get that experience, that shared experience. I love it. And I want to do like Steam Deck stuff too. I've been tempted about it. Maybe one day. I still think the second or more likely third iteration of it is going to get me in order to hop on board. I do want it to have a bigger battery, a longer last, well, more like a longer lasting battery. Um, not to have the controllers be like separated or no you want the i do want the controller separated off the side because if one of those controllers goes bad you're stuck with that entire thing that you got to send back in and that sucks and also storage so storage battery life and the controllers as well as the so four things and being able to get the docking to a tv right out the box Hopefully they will make it more slim too. See, that is also what I'm hoping for for the PlayStation 5 because that thing is a monster size. Why is it that big? Give me one sec. All right. Actually, I should just go ahead and take a sip of water. I can hydrate too. I need to work on the redeems. All right. The thirst. I'll even do a little posture check of my own. Ugh. Ooh woo. Make it more slim. Oh, oh, what are these? What, what are these? No. Oh, the squish. Oh my gosh. Crush. 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 Oh no. Ow. Crush. Squish. Oh, the squish. Don't tell, don't tell Aves. Don't tell Aves. <laughs> Buggy Bagoo. These, these were not nice buggies. They came after me and started poking me. They did it first. Here's some more pistol ammo. Man, they really want me to be using the pistol. I don't know if I have like infinite inventory space. No squish bug. I just like waved my magic wand and put them to sleep and then I just, I gave them a little foot play, a little paw play. I know they like that. No, stop it. Why? Ugh. Stop it. Stop flying around in erratic patterns. Do I like automatically lock on? Yeah, it looks like I do. Okay. Are you going to come down? There we go. 
Wait, is that like a bat bug? It looks like it's got wings of a bat. Is it always a bat? Because then I'm squishing myself and now I feel even worse. <laughs> That's bad. Wait, what? What is this stuff? What could they even have been making? Potions? Potion master? What were they making down here? That's a lot of blood for a bug. It's a blood bug. That's another game. Uh, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas. I actually could use some help on Fallout New Vegas because I haven't ever, like, people love New Vegas compared to Fallout 3, and I want to give it a fair shot. Squish. Not on purpose, though. I promise. I promise not on purpose. Squish. <laughs> oh my god. What is this place? Is this some kind of factory? I think that's a pretty fair assessment. Oh, the bug. Those two. Squish. God, that squish effect, though. And then we're back to the trees. These bugs, though. Okay, can't go out that way. I'll be honest, this isn't what I was expecting of this game. There wasn't much that I was, but it's still very interesting. There's weird riding here too. So this is a different place, and you have this car here. Anything in the trunk? And the driver's seat door is open, really. There's a lot of things scattered on the seat. Among the trash is a scrap of paper with something written on it. It's been a while since I came here to Silent Hill. Maybe I'll meet the devil this time. But whenever I come to a cool place like Silent Hill, I always get real thirsty. Jasperkine. There's a memo pad in here, too. I'm not sure what that nosy guy meant when he said his home is the orphanage in the middle. The lake is northwest, so the opposite is southeast. Not sure what that nosy guy meant. Well, it sounds pretty straightforward. The nosy guy said one other thing I don't understand. If you bring the dug, the dug up key... You can't go back. Put it away somewhere before you return there. Oh, it sounds like we have to, like, leave something behind in this world in order to go back to our world. Maybe. You put Jester's memo pad into your scrapbook. Can I not drive the car? Oh, I guess not. Would have been a cool car, though. I could just drive. I could just leave. No, this guy wants to keep going. Where each loading section is divided by these doorways. Hey, there's a guy here! And, not an, and a guy that might not want me to have this out. Can I put this away? No. Pew. Nope. Okay, I guess I can't put away right now. Which might be fine. Let me just explore around a little bit. Okay, there's a door there. There's rocks here. Interesting choice. An opening right there that I might not be able to go into. And then you, my friend. Who are you? Things to 
I mean, now that you mention it, kind of giving off a weird vibe, but I think that just might be the guy. Oh. No, it's more dogs. I wonder if I could just straight up like go around. Oh, Jesus. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> Whoa, okay, all right, all right, Jesus. Oh, oh my gosh. They're really intent. Okay, let's go. Oh, whoa. Did he just come into this world with me? Ow, no. I wonder if I could just go down this way. Can I? Yes. <gasps> Silent Hill Small Support Society Wish House. That's the orphanage run by the cult, huh? Go in! <laughs> wow. Not like, okay, so safe spot. Actually, this might be a good stopping point for the evening. Let me go ahead and get this going in order to go back and save. Enter the hole. Because I want to be getting a little cozy and try to go to bed a little bit earlier. And regain some more sleep. There's still some things that I have to do. To do. How are y'all doing tonight? Y'all being cozy watching Bat get scared? Not too terribly scared. I don't know what my peak for heart rate is tonight, but not as scared as I could be. Okay. So we have to go back down in order to get to that one particular place. I feel like I'm doing better in order to navigate it. That subway section was a bit difficult. And that's just because that it looked all the same. Can't ever read that notepad. Let's go ahead and save. Return from the forest world. Pew. Awesome. And I hope y'all are doing good. I, well, I guess this scene, looking at it like here, might be a good scene to remember this game by. Just the chain door and the hole in the bathroom. Gonna be checking to see who will be able to raid tonight. Let's see who we got. I still also want to, like, check. Actually, before I do the raid, um, let me check again to see who has been joining the stream that might be a bot, because I'm still trying to, like, weed those out and stuff. So, let's go ahead and exit uh, full screen mode. Can I do exit full screen mode? No. That's okay, though. Let's see. Do you have a raid target? Let's take a look. Let's see who's doing things right now. I see Sammy. Sammy Fox. And Noxie! I think I would love to raid Noxie. I haven't given Noxie a raid yet. This would be my first one for him. <laughs> that would be fun. Because I want to give him some more energy. Yeah. I'll go ahead and get things started. For a little start raid for him. There we go. Noxie is a good friend. And a very fuzzy, wamby streamer. Very, very cool. I hope y'all have a wonderful evening. And enjoy watching Noxie. Let's see, what game is Noxie playing right now? Aw. I get back just as you're leaving. Where did you go? I didn't know you had left. Well, don't worry, Noxie is a very good friend that I'm bringing you to. He's playing Rain World right now. I play Getting Over It with them during Breeze's Subathon. Aw. Getting Over It is a cool game. I don't know if I would ever play it, but I've enjoyed watching other streamers play it. But in the meantime, 
I hope you'll have a wonderful evening. Thank you again for your energy. Take care of yourselves. It's a Sunday night. And for those of us in the States, rest up. Have a good dinner. Take some time in order to unwind and be at peace and calm yourself in order to get a good night's rest because that's important. I'm bringing y'all over in the next five seconds. I hope you'll have a pleasant evening. Bat loves y'all and have a wonderful evening. Night night.